Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, and back for another crafty video. So, this is take three because I've had two coughing fits trying to do this. So, um, today we are going to make this. This is my prototype, so this isn't like kind of finished. We're going to finish one though together, and it's a little folder opens up, and inside we've got some index cards with little tabs on, um, and this is made to fit six by four index card okay so you, whether you choose to put the tabs on or not it can be just a little file holder for it and we've just got a little close velcro tab on there um, and we are going to make that together okay so what you will need is you will need some cardboard okay so here we have some cardboard by the magic of tv i happen to have some ready for me okay and then you're going to turn it if you're going to make this, this is currently 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, which is like 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters because UK standard measurements are in centimetres. But I'm going to give you all the measurements in inches today. Okay, so we are going to need to have this at 10 and a half square. So 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So we're going to take that bit off and flip it around. And then we're going to do the same again and take the other bit off and make sure that's ten and a half as well, Dave, otherwise it's all going pear shaped. <clears throat> now I hope I can get through this without coughing again. Although I may have to pause the video and come back to you. So if if there's cuts in the video, it's usually because I'm having a coughing fit. Um those of you that know I had um strep A uh, a few well, about three weeks ago, and I've been left with a bit of a cough as a result of it. I thought it was COVID, but it wasn't. So, you know, let's let's face it. You know, what you buy, the guy that's had everything, strep, <laughs> strep A, that's what you give them, or penicillin. Um, so, <laughs> without further ado, let's get on with this. Okay, so you need to decide what side you want to have as your outside because um, you need to have that face up, okay? So, this is the side. That's a slightly tonally different, I think, but I'm going to go with this side. So, we've got it ten and a half square, so you don't have to worry about which is the top and which is the bottom, which is the left and the right, and the up and the down, and the front and the back, and the yeah, the hokey cokey and turn around. Um, so, anyway, um, first of all, first measurement is at um, half an inch. Like I said, I'm going to do all of this in um, in inches for you. So we're going to do the first measurement at, at half an inch, and then you want the second measurement at one because that's another half an inch. Okay. So just in case anybody's wondering what, what this is, so this is my um, fold-out prototype. Yes, I cut one of my tabs off. I'll just stuck it back on again. So you know we're, we can all make mistakes. So basically, what I'm currently doing is these two. Okay. Then we want the full expanse, which is this bit, so the back bit, and so that is four. That measures four and an eighth. Okay, so in order to get that, what you need to do, sorry, it doesn't. It measures six and an eighth. Um, so six plus one is seven, so it's going to be seven and one eighth. Okay, so that's one of those little notches across on my scoreboard anyway. So we're going to put a score line there okay hopefully you can see this okay and then what we need to do is we need to make these bits okay so i'm going to put another score line in at half a centimeter sorry half an inch across from there so because we've got one over that means we go one over on the half an inch line and that will give us half an inch so there we go that's that okay and then we don't do anything with that because that's our flap okay now we need to turn it around 90 degrees and we're going to do the other measurements so we're going to turn so we've now turned it okay and we've got it this way around now so what we're going to do is let's just move that out of the way and you can just kind of look at that what we're going to do now we're going to make all of these other measurements okay so because i've forgotten what i'm doing we have We have three and a half, 
first measurement okay so we go th three and a half in there okay so we're doing that first flap doing this first flap then we're going to go half an inch from there so that makes it four yeah and then the back panel is four and eighth so if we were at four we're going to go to eight and we're going to go one across one little eighth of an inch across we're going to put a line in there and then we're going to go half an inch across from there which takes it just one past the halfway mark there okay that's it so there are your measurements okay then you just have to have your fingers crossed hope that there's a unicorn in your vicinity and it'll all go swimmingly and if you don't have any of those things then you know just follow my directions instead so which is the same as having a unicorn so oh sorry just excuse me while i <clears throat> prop my scoreboard up it does have a hook but it's a dodgy hook and i don't want it to fall on my head while i'm doing this so okay and they're all of our score lines now we're going to flip it over because we can see the score lines better this way and we need a pair of scissors so I'm going to get my trusty Tim Holt scissors out. Okay, so in order to get this correct, okay, don't cut the tabs off is all I can say. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut down to this second line on both sides. So we're going to cut on the inside of the little score line. That way then none of this gets in the way of the mechanism I didn't cut that very straight though but never mind i'm going to cut it down anyway cut that bit and then we're going to cut the other side of the fold on the other way there okay and then we're going to do the same on this one on the inside of this one and on the outside of the other one on the inside and then on the outside yeah Okay, and then we're going to flip it around 90 degrees. I'm going to just do these little cuts first, and then you can then we'll cut things off. I just don't want to confuse you with cutting in and cutting off. Okay, so then we're going to cut on the outside of this line. Okay, all the way down to that that second score line, and on the inside of this line, all the way down to that second score line. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we go a little, a little way in. Okay, so then on the inside of this one, down to there, and then on the outside of this one. It's very hard to see because the sun's gone in and now the light has changed in the room. So There we go. Hopefully it's bright enough for you guys. You can see all of that. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this, this side. So we've cut all of the tabs in now we need to cut off okay so on this very outer bit you're going to cut this panel off this little corner panel off okay and then you're going to cut the next line down on that one and you're going to leave that one so you've got like a step on this side yeah and then we're going to turn it round, and then you're going to cut this one off again remember on the outside of that and then you're going to cut that one off okay and again you've got a step on this side okay so there are your two sides and then this is your bottom that's going to fold up okay and now we're going to turn it around and we're going to do the very same thing again so it's going to be on the helpful days if you get it right do do so on the inside of this one it's not going to stay still now is it on the inside of this one put that bit off cut that one off so you've got and it's another step down it's just not quite as easy to see that step okay so then on the inside of this one that one off okay and then we've got our box shape okay so 
Now, why am I making boxes? Because I like making boxes. I like I like construction-y things. And it's my birthday week. So um, I'm doing what makes me happy. So, And hopefully it'll make you happy too. So what we're going to do now is, well, these because these are the tabs that we're going to glue down with, these just need to be a little bit more triangular shaped. So you're just going to cut them down so they do the job of holding it all together but they don't get in the way just cut that fold off there do the same with there so it just makes it look a little bit, little bit neat to cut that fold off okay and then we're just going to make this into a tab into a sorry a like a pyramid almost a flattened top pyramid is that not what the Aztecs did I don't know don't I wasn't, you know, I know I'm, and I'm old, but I don't remember the Aztecs. So, although if you, oh, I've got very shaky hands today. No brain surgery for me today. Um, it's a good job I'm not a brain surgeon, really, isn't it? So, um, yeah, don't ask me about things, ancient things. I don't, I don't really know. I kind of just make it up as I go along. I know 1066 was the Battle of Hastings, and like you know, that's really <laughs> that's as far as my history goes. So, okay, so there we go. We'll just cut those off and just let me get that. Oh dear, that was a fraction, so much of a little fraction off that it wasn't really worth cutting off. Now we're going to make this on that same sort of shape. Sorry, we're going to do that same sort of shape on this outer one. <clears throat> yep. So now you've done all of that cutting. You've got your Aztec pyramids or whatever they are. Okay. So then what we need to do is we need to round this in some way. Now, I freehand rounded that. Now, I know that's not perfect, but, you know, I think I did a pretty good job considering um, I'm rubbish at cutting. <laughs> <laughs> rubbish and free hand cutting anyway um i will endeavor to do something very similar so what i did was basically i did that and then i kind of used that on that side a bit like you know when you cut your corners off for your your tags and then you kind of just try and get it in a similar sort of place so it might not be perfect so but remember the le less you try and seek perfection, the happier you will be. So, just be kind to yourself. Perfection is subjective. So, and if you're not happy with it, give it a bit of a round. Because like that was a bit of a angular Merkel. No, it wasn't angular Mer angular Merkel. Um, leave angular Merkel out of this, Dave. So. And don't keep cutting it otherwise. <laughs> just be nothing. It'll be a knob end because like you'll, you'll just cut it all off. So that's those. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of happy with that. It's not perfect, but hey, who, who is? Okay. Now what we need to do is put in our fold. So this fold, the first, first one needs to be folded, folded over, and then this, then your little tabs, foldy, foldy. Then this fold over and this fold over. So basically everywhere there's a fold line, make it fold and flip it round and foldy and foldy, 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 foldy. And that's it. That's our kind of shape. So it's going to kind of come together like this okay so if it if it offends you that that's not in the middle then that's not a score tool Dave that's a score tool it looks very similar that's oh, that's my defense anyway um yeah so I'm sorry if it's if it kind of offends you, you could trim it down a little bit um so maybe you get this one that's a bit more in the middle but you know just be aware that it's not going to be in the middle and I'm sorry if it upsets you but <clears throat> that was a too big a working out measurement for me to sort out for you so <laughs> I'm trying to appease myself have fun whilst doing things so just going to 
put a nice score line in all of these. Okay, and then the same with the little tabs. You don't have to worry about them too much because they're going to hold your your box together. There we go. So I'm going to make it look a little bit like that, but we're also going to make it look a little bit. You can see how I made this one wrong. The cardboard wasn't quite long enough, so I had to put a a weld in. Um, but you know, it's it is what it is. So. The other thing I did on, on the other one is I tried to round this bit, but I'm not going to bother rounding it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this shape out now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you just kind of go from this fold, you go a little bit out, so maybe the same amount again, half an inch or so out, maybe, maybe less than that, maybe quarter of an inch, Dave. Cut down to about an inch line, and then cut that straight across. Okay, and then you're gonna take that, and you're gonna use that, that same shape. No, not that way around, Dave. Oh, it's gonna fox you now, isn't it? Slightly taxed. I don't know why the accent suddenly came out. I'm not from Yorkshire. I've just lived here a long time. Okay, so. And then use that same, and then you'll get a very similar sort of shape that way. Um, and then you just can't be in the same place at the same the same time as the scissors, so you just have to be you just have to work it out. So there we go. Let's do that line, and then go up to the meat. That line there. Cool. Okay. So with a bit of luck, they'll kind of sort of marry up and like you know do they kind of sort of oh they kind of sort of do and they kind of sort of just fine for me okay yeah so there we go so that's our little cut out bit okay so now you just need to do a bit of assembly so remember you're not going to glue all of the bits down because if you glue all of the bits down then you're just gonna you're gonna have a closed box that you can't do anything with okay so what you need to do is to open it out a bit and get your glue whatever glue you choose whatever glue you use you snooze you lose no you don't snooze it'll all lose in this place so you're just going to push the corners together first yeah and just pinch them and just make sure it's a nice square edge and then pinch and hold not bend and snap that's a whole other thing oh we're going to see the barbie movie tomorrow evening well it'll be tomorrow evening for me it'll be three days ago for you because it'll be and we're going to see it on my birthday which is friday the 4th of august so me brian vic my partner vic and obviously me obviously me brian my partner vic and me yeah okay i'm going twice apparently um <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue on this tab. So I'm sorry, I'll just open it up a little bit. We'll glue on this tab. Yeah, and we're going to glue on this edge. It kind of overlaps quite a, a big bit, and the reason for that is it just makes it nice and secure because this is the bit that's going to get all of the strain from pushing your cards in and out of. And then you're going to just encapsulate all of those bits wrap it round and get that line straight otherwise if it's not straight it's got you, this it's got to be the same sort of width distance apart from here equidistant i would say otherwise you've you're going to make it hard to get your cards in okay and then what we're going to do is i'm just going to put my scoring tool in there and just try and use that to press down on a little bit fiddly fiddly is sometimes worth it so get that out of there dave where's your ruler get your ruler in and then i'm just going to stick my ruler in there and just press that bottom tab bit down make sure it makes a nice firm contact okay there we go so that's our little thing these bits are going to stay here because these are just the the bit that makes the mechanism close together nicely okay and then we're going to stick a 
sticky dot on here. Okay, so Velcro dot. So the only thing I've done here that's different to you know usual is I've just I know it's got bits of fluff on it, but I took my little dauber, my this is my alcohol ink dauber. I put some alcohol ink on it and I just use some latte. Oh I could just drink a latte. Um some latte on there. And then I just dabbed it on here and on there. And that way then, oh, excuse me, just throwing that around. And that way then it's <clears throat> a bit more inconspicuous because it's bright white on a vintage looking thing. It's just a little bit conspicuous for me. So I'll just put the two together first. Okay. And you choose wh which side you want the floofy bit. So I'm going to go floofy bit on this on this side. I'll pop that on there so keep them both together like that and then when you fold it round and you have it in the right place and you hold it together and it all looks great it all looks grand you stick it down there and then when you peel it apart gent peel it apart gently to start with and then you can just squeeze that bit together and you can squeeze that bit together and that way then it sits kind of in the right place and it marries up every time so <clears throat> so that's those so that's that bit okay put me lid back on while my pin back in oh dear we've got a fountain going on now oh this is not going to happen is it today it is there we go it's, it's always better if it happens if it doesn't happen then it, you can all go Pete Tong. Okay, so then what I did was, I'd love to tell you, I made all my cards by hand, but I didn't. <laughs> I'd love to tell you that, but I, I, I didn't. So. Um, so these are some that I got that were brilliant white. They were like this, and I've made, I aged them in a, a very old video, a long time ago. I aged them because they were just a bit bright for me. I thought they were a bit neon. Um, and I just aged them down, I coffee dyed them, did a bit of different aging techniques on, on them, etc. That's what this one's look, it's just been aged. Okay, so I'll do one of them. Um, what colour have we got there? I'll do a blue one. I think the blue ones, yeah, subject, that's fine. Oh, they all say subject. Oh, or the orange one, the yellow one is very, look how bright that is compared to that now. Um, maybe I might do two. Okay, so, and then we'll just take some of these other cards. These are from... There's a, there's a kit that I got from Hobbycraft when they were in the sale. I got them for about... There was a big kit, and there were like 100 cards, and it was reduced from some ridiculous price, like 70 quid, down to, I think I got it for £3.50, so... Um, so, you know, I like, I like a bargain. We all know that. So they came with these things as well, which I don't, haven't ever used. So, um, I guess they could be used in some, in some way. I wonder if that would ink, like alcohol ink. Might keep one out and we'll have a go. So anyway, that's that. So, well, um, so these, the, all of these are going to get cut down slightly because you'll, what you'll find is these fit perfectly in here. <laughs> Fingers crossed, Dave. So they fit in there. Okay, they're a little bit big for it, but let's just get some of these. These fit perfectly in here. Yeah, there you go. They fit perfectly in there. And you see that these come right up to the edge where it folds over. So in order to have the tabs on, we need to cut them down a little bit. So... I mean, like, you could make this longer, but, like, when I was making it longer, I would find myself running out of cardboard that was big enough. So, um, we'll make some of these. We might cut these down a little bit so they fit in better, but we'll make some of these look old, because, you know, that's one of my things. That's the thing that you, that Dave does. He likes to make things look a little bit old. So, in order to make some things look a bit old, I'm going to have to move some things out of the way, otherwise everything's going to look a bit old. I'm, you know, I'm kind of of that that point of view of like if I am going to have to age, everything else is going to have to age with me. So, <clears throat> so pop 
up that there and move those squidge them over okay so what we're going to do is we are going to just make these a bit aged looking now I, I know that you know I could probably use something on my mat but I'm just throwing myself into the whole thing okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray I, was, I had a panic then thinking I haven't got my spray but I have and I'm just going to do this spray 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 this is a great way to clean your mat because like at the end of the day we want this to look old pop that on there go put that on there i like really like the brush corduroy because it's got that yellowy tinge to it which is just like paper gold you know that kind of yellowy gorgeousness the yellowy gorgeousness i don't go any color um as i get older i don't even get brown in the sun so um so that's that i'm going to just do the same on this just mop it up a bit might put another I really don't mind about the gringiness on my mat don't think I'm not worried about the fact that it's got like layers of different colors on it and all of that I'll face it at the end of the day I'm gonna make it look just as just as hideous so this one looks like it's been walked over it's fine by me so first of all I'm gonna get this all up a bit of a scooch into those whitey bits um, and the older the better the bringier the better for me as well so like uh, this is the bits where the fibers coming off the off the surface and I'm not worried about that either so, so you've got two completely different cards there just gonna might as well give it a bit of a clean while I'm here. <laughs> the first clean he's had all year, so. There we go. Bit of a clean. Okay, so then these just need to dry. So, in order to get them to dry, I'm just going to get Mavis in. And, and this is my brick named Mavis. I'm just going to dry those. So, I might have to turn the sound down while I do this. I'll try and sing to you while I do it. No, I won't sing to you, don't worry. Um, it, oh, the good thing about this particular one is it doesn't make a huge amount of noise. The other one I have that's for heat embossing is sounds like you're on a jet plane. Living on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Yeah, no, we don't. None of it. Nobody wants me to sing. I know, but you don't always get what you want. But you get what you need. Oh no, there's another song in that. Shut up, Dave. Shut up with the songs. And coming out at Christmas is an album by Ktel. Anybody remember Ktel? So they always had really cheesy music on Ktel. In fact, I think did not like Perry Como and all of them used to have records out on Ktel. So I don't know whether that was just a, a UK thing or whether it was a a global thing um, I don't mind it about it curling up as well I know some of you are saying that you know it's because one side's drier than the other and and that's that's exactly right because now I'm drying this side out this side is it's curling the other way doesn't bother me at the end of the day we're making it look old so it's all part and parcel of the fun Of that so as you can see these colors are still quite vibrant especially this orange is very vibrant very garish and we dry oh, we're drying off sorry Mavis you can go now your, your screen time is over okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my emery board I'm just gonna give it a bit of a of a judge, a bit of a buff, go over it, take off any bits that are just like loose lying on the top, like 
that. That's not so bad. Trying not to do too much filing, otherwise I end up coughing again. Okay, so now is the time to get my dauber involved, wherever it is. It's there. So I do have a a crusty dauber, which doesn't sound particularly nice. Sorry, just to see if I can find the dauber. The, oh, there it is. So this one's the one that's falling apart, and this is fine. This is great for getting in this kind of stuff. And then we're just going to get in here and... really add the grunge to the bits of the other layers so try and get rid of that the white bits and I'm probably going to cut this very end bit off anyway because remember I said I need to make them shorter so they have to be they've got to be shortened by about half an inch so I'm just going to get in there with this and then I'm going to smooth it out with a, a brush. Get in there. Okay, get the brush. Right, so one thing is don't press down too hard with the brush because all you're doing is if you put ink on the surface, on the very tip of the brush and then you press it down you're then brushing it with the side of the brush and you actually end up you know not not getting any ink on it not you don't get any more on it certainly who are you calling a moron um there we go. that looks nice that looks like it's been around a while this one i'm not so worried about i'm just going to give it a bit of a zhuzh Let's give this a shoes actually like this. I'm not going to go for the burnt look like I usually do. I know I've, that's another thing that I'm known for is making things look like they've been rescued from a fire, but not today. Although it's quite looking quite smoky around the edges, but cool. So fine. Okay. So the like I said that these are probably a little bit bigger than these because they don't fit as well. There you go. They are a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to cut them off. Let's get them all in at the same time, Dave. just the width at the minute I'm worrying about. I've, like I say, this ruler has got a slight edge there, and all I do is I hook that edge onto the end of edge of this cardboard, like that, and then I cut that off. Well, you certainly do when you can find your blade. There you go. Well, that's not straight, so... the other way down in a minute but I'm just gonna cut this off and then make and make the edges look a bit well more aged because I'll have cut that off and there'll be a nice there'll be a white not a nice white core oh, there'll be a white core in there now so and I know this is terrible this is how I how on earth do I dare treat my Tim Holtz things like this? Well, I do, so. Like I've said in previous videos that I need to buy some more of these pads at some point when I've got some cash floating around. When I've got some cash floating around, that's not going to ever happen, I don't think, Dave. So you might have to bite the bullet and just do it anyway. And so I'm definitely going to cut these edges off now. I've cut the subject bit off. Okay. 
In fact, actually, I might. Oh, which, which end am I doing, Dave? This side, Dave. I might not cut the end of that one off because I like that. <coughs> so, those can be cut off. That one is different. That's across the top, so that doesn't matter which way round. That can be that way round. That can be that way round. And then we're going to, sorry, don't need that. We're going to cut half a centimetre, half an inch, not half a centimetre, Dave. Half an inch, Dave, 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 Dave. That's about half an inch. We'll all be happy with that. Cut that off. Again, I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and inky. Make sure it's, you know, it, it, really it's just the white edges I'm worried about. Don't like it to look. You don't want to go to all this hassle and make it look old and leave a white core, do we? So. I really like it <laughs> grungy so there we go so there's some cards that we're going to go with these i know these are rounded off but like I'm not worried about them being rounded so we need to cut these down as well so we won't use all of these what we'll do is we'll pick some out so i don't know one three of them one of that one not keen on that one that one can go in that can go in one of them. Might have two of them actually. The other way round. One of them. One of them. One of them. I think that's the same. Just the other way up. Oh no, it's not. That's a postcard. Put that one in. We'll cut that edge off. That one. We'll cut that edge off. Not that one. Oh, yeah, I quite like that one actually, that way the round though. Oh, I was going to see if I could do anything with that, wasn't I? Right, so those aren't going to get used. These are I'm just going to tidy this bit up, otherwise it gets right messy on camera and all. On camera and all. Okay, so those together. And then I'm going to cut the edge off here. So I'm going to cut them to the same length as this. So just put that on there. Cut this off. Again, just hook it over that top edge. And get my blade and just... Hooky dooky it off. That's not a technical term. Now a nice sharp blade means that you don't cut cut loads, but don't don't press down the blade. Let the blade do the work. Don't press it, otherwise you might shatter the blade. And you could end up in all sorts of trouble. And I don't want that. You know? I love you and I want to look after you. So um Don't really worry about these ones because these are all kind of whitish looking anyway. But just that very bleed edge. Okay, so I think then that this would say that maybe we have these as the um, the divider cards. Not that one. Maybe that one. That one. Really, I really love that one actually now. One and we'll have that one, yeah. So we're gonna have four, and then that one can just be maybe we'll use that in a different project, eh? Yeah, so I have four, okay. Um, I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, so now what I need is the whale tail thing. So you're gonna have to decide what you're gonna use for your, your tabs. Now I might do the same as I did last time and have a bit of a few colors. Okay, so this is Whale Tail one. This is the Vassen Creative, I believe. 
this is one where you, f you use a folded over piece and then it just cuts this bit out and it's like that okay um and i know that these <laughs> these also went out of stock when they got released we managed to get them so we'd seen them on whatsapp and then i think somebody else used them on not whatsapp on amazon and then somebody else used them in their crafty pursuits and then after that everything they were just gone they were sold out so we'll use maybe use this just fold that over like that um so we were just lucky to get them before i think somebody on youtube put them on uh, used them in their video and then somebody else said where'd you get them from i need one of them in my life and you know what it's like the rest is history you say to yourself i'm not going to buy anything else and then you buy something else and then you just then you just are oh, you're just in that situation again and you bought something else that you well, you could have lived without because I'll show you something. I mean, I, I only use it because I've got it. What you could do is the other thing to do is if you get a, a, something you're going to use as a tab, let me just cut this off. That's going to annoy me, isn't it? Stop! Okay, so if you cut that off, okay, you've got a fold line. Yeah, you cut, you get it, cut it to the width that you want it. Oh, let's go to about there. You don't have a whale tail punch because I know that the old whale style whale tail punches were, you know, they stopped making them. I think were they creative expressions? some reason I don't know why they stopped making them because they were in demand so and then what you do is you just go into the side and you go you go halfway down get your crease line in the middle go halfway down on your uh, circle punch and you snip it out and then you flip it over and you go halfway down and on the line you snip that out you fold it over and basically you've got the same sort of shape really just shape that up a bit dave better shape up because i need a tab there you go so you could just use some of them instead of worrying about these so just saying you don't have to have them all i know i know you do i know that's a silly thing to say sorry i'm, I'm shut up now so, just gonna binky binky. I like it to look grungy. So, some of them, some of these are paper, so like they're not cards, so they're not as this one specifically is paper, but it's fine when it's stuck down. Everybody will know. I don't know what the point of doing that is because it's not inky enough to actually pick up any ink when I do that. I have to more smush it in. Smooshy. Not smooching. No smooching in the back there, you. It's a long time since I've done any smooching in the back row of anywhere, so. And I'm not going to be doing it when I go and see Barbie. <laughs> Don't want to make Brian feel uncomfortable, me and Vic smooching. Um, there we go. So anyway, go all the way around the edge. So this is like, like I say, I'm making this for Margot. This is another thing for Margot. And those of you that don't know who Margot is, where have you been? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Why would I know? No. <coughs> of course I know who who Margot is, but. So Margot is a character I've created to be able to build things around. So because I struggle with creativity, so I don't I technically being autistic don't have an imagination. Um I like to replicate things. And at the moment I'm replicating things for Margot's life and she 
is a procurement supervisor for a global mining company and uh, I'm helping to build her her life basically so that one there so we're going to go blue uh, red blue red red blue red blue yellow green okay so green is on the last one Put that on there. Um, yeah, so Margot was a character that I created, so to build a life around. So Margot is a strong, independent woman living in the 60s. She comes from a mixed race background. Her father was stationed in India and met her mother and they fell in love as you do and uh and they both well they all live over here now so and yeah so that's that's who margo is so and if you you want to know more uh, watch the other margo things because it's about character development as well so Like I say, when you lack an imagination, this is where you are, so this is what you do. So let's just see whether that's going to sit nicely with that. Possibly a tad further over there. Not a tab further over there, but a tad further over there. Yep, and then we'll put this one on. This is the last one that we're going to put on. And, uh, on that. Oh, that's too far over, Dave. Way too far over. So trying to just rest it there. Does that look right with that? That's fine. Does it look right with that? That's fine. So there's no measuring going on here. It's just uh, about eyeing it. Giving it the eye. Okay, like that. 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 Okay, there's our, there's our tabs, our four little tabs. Okay, so the only the other thing to do is I numbered the, the last lot, and this is a sequential number punch. Okay, this is a very old sequential number punch. Um, it's the ENM. The uh, something number something <laughs> for something number th something that's not helpful is it it's automatic number or i think it's something like that but i don't know what the e n m stands for okay so i'm going to so you, that's how you move the number on and i just want to get it in the right sort of place and i'm going to go down and bunch so that's 102 and then we're going to Flip it again, and then I mean, like the number auto number generator things these days now kind of do it themselves as you, with each press they automatically move up numbers. But these things don't. This is the old version, so oh, let's do that again. Hopefully, that's a different number. four and then we're going to do one again and then we're going to go five so this was just a an ebay purchase oh, not oh five it's six five sorry dave it's one six two one six three one six four one six five okay we're going to the wrong way around now Okay, and we're just going to distribute these between them. So we'll go for a few behind there. That one and another one of them. That's that one. Then we're going to go to them. 
that. So let's put that behind them. Yep. And we're going to go for these. Put that on those. And I'm going to put that on. Put those. And then put that on there. And that's it. So we've got all of those nicely sorted. And they're going to go into our box. But I think the box needs to be aged. So this I'll come back to. I won't do that in this video. We'll do that another time. So, not happy with that. We need to make it floofier on the edges. If you break up those little corners, little corners, those corners, them little corners. And you can make it as new looking or old looking as you like. It's entirely up to you. Let's make that a little bit more broken up. Just get me nail in there. That's the whole point of having nails as a crafter. But they get in the way otherwise. So. Don't mind bashing a, a corner in as well. There we go. I really have to be careful about breathing in because it makes me cough. But I'm just trying to break up the surface a bit so it's a little bit more interesting to ink. And an emery board isn't necessarily the right thing, but it's not the wrong thing either. There we go. Anybody that was worried about my less than straight edges, now it's all less than straight. So. And if you were worried about my edges, then worry about your own. Okay, so it's got a bit more of a floofy finish to it, so it should pick up ink easier now. I don't want to squash it, obviously, I don't want to squash the box. Stick my hand in there a bit to give it a bit of a... Something to hold on to go in with the deeper colours in a minute, so get that dashed corner nice nice and inky. They usually tend to go very darkly coloured when they've got bashed in, that's the reason why they got bashed in. They've been dropped on that corner lots of times. Really need to get some re-inkers on this, there you go, that's much better when you Press it down and give it a, a wiggle. Oh. 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 And then you get that much lighter bit where you can see where it's been closed. And I don't, you know, I don't just want to make boxes for the rest of my life, but like this week, just wanted to make some, at least another box, or like a construction project. Although, eventually I'm going to make boxes for all of Margot's equipment and stuff, so... She strikes me as the kind of person that likes to put things away. Oh, she's not like me, obviously. <clears throat> Get the back. I 
Joseph really likes a brown back. No point having a having an uneven tan, isn't there? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the real darker bits. All of those nice edges. And I'm not worrying about the manhandling of this now, so... What you don't want to do is leave a square edge of this on your project, otherwise it looks very... very um, staged but you can kind of carefully you kind of just rub around the edge at an angle you're all right no oh. I've had a toothbrush which I don't think I do around here oh, nope. I'd probably give it a splatter or something, but I'm not going to worry about that. What I will do is, if I've got that band, I shall... There it is. Is that it? No, it isn't. It's not that. It's this one. I'll probably give it a bit of a, a splatter. There we go. Just gives it a, a look of like it's been had some ink dropped on it. Just give that a bit of a dry before I carry on. So I like those because you hit. There's got like a spongy pad on the end. They don't do them anymore, but like got a spongy pad on the end, and if you hit something with it, it splatters. So that's what I like is that splatter look. It always when you heat craft card, I always think it smells like baking jacket potatoes. So I feel hungry now. So. I won't eat the craft paper though. I'm not, I'm not on a high fibre diet, so. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Uh, and what I will do is I'll give it a bit of a yellowy brush over as well. So this is the, um, what's it called? Dusty Con, no, not Dusty Concord. Brush Cordroy, <laughs> Dusty Con. Yeah, Dave, I just want, that's one of the colours, but that's not the one I'm using. Get that kind of mark from the desk finish on it. I like to go quite grungy. And again, I like that, that look of when, so when you open this up, you've got that line so you can clearly see a line of where it's, oh, there you go, all of the strings come off the pad onto the, onto the, what's it called? Yeah, that, onto there. And then I can just yellow a little bit of this inside, like right, right in the top bit. bit of colour. Not worrying too much about it though. Just on those edges. Okay, we don't mind having a few of them looking a bit buckled as well. That's all, that's all good. All adds to the authentic authenticity of it. Just, uh, Violet, I suppose, do me nails at the same time. Get in there with that. There we go. Cool. That's flipped over a bit as well. Good. Brilliant. Okay, so kind of lost a bit of that. Just go back in with that up that edge again. So 
so we can see that there is a line. Yep, that's fine. The line's back. So, okay. So then, what we need to do is just need to pop these into here. Now, so they should all fit nicely, which they do. They go in lovely. There you go. You've got all of those lovely little index cards. Although, for some reason, Dave, you managed to put them around the wrong way. How have you managed to do that? Why are they the wrong way round? Or have you flipped one of them over? Is that, I don't know what you've done, Dave. Where's, that's the end one. Why is that not at the top? There you go. They're all round the wrong, not wrong order now, aren't they? So, oh well. Oh well, it's fine. I'm not overly perturbed by it. So there we go. That's the in there. Put them in. They all sit nicely now. I'll just close it up, and that's it. So that's our little um, make. I'm going to just repair it, repair it with some of my. Age still a tape, which I need. To, I think I need to make some more of because I don't know where. You know, I'm, I've quite run out of this. I use it a lot. I did have loads, but I don't know where I put it all. So, of course, it needs a bit more help to stick. I'm just going to smooth that out so you don't get any. You don't see the lines that way. I'm just going to stick it down. Maybe like like that. That will dry clear, so I know it looks a little bit opaque at the minute, but it will dry clear. Put that around that corner. There we go. And that's it. So when it dries, that will look go back to being clear again, and it'll all look like it's been repaired. Back in there. Oh, bent that pin again. Another one I've bent. There we go. Cool. So, that's another little note cardy thing. So, and that's the prototype that we made it from. So, very similar. Oh, it is the same size. It's just not as squished, this one. And then this is the the open prototype so that's what your piece of card should look like and that's it so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that that's another another little crafty make really pleased with that could probably do with a you know a label on there probably probably use a tracy label on it rather than trying to make a label because you've seen how badly i make labels so I've decided that I was going to I'm going to actually put a sticker on these before we finish the video. So I've just spent a bit of time just inking that one. Um, I had originally ended the video, but like I thought, no, let's make something and, and do it now. So I'm going to use some of these that are, these are the things that Vic brings back from work because he is a pub manager and he brings all of these things back so i thought this is a great opportunity because this is 50 and we can use that as our 50 count sticker on here so what i will do is i will stamp with that stamp that i used for my boxes i'm going to do put that round um like that and i'll probably do that in green should I do it in green on this one? Yeah, I'll do it on green, in green on this one. That round here. Okay. And it also gives it that bit more uniformity. And I'm going to put it on this one, but I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to have it like that. Uh, I'm going to do it like that, actually. And you'll think, what on earth are you doing? But just give me a chance. So, the reason I've done that is, let me cut this out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Um, these things, a bit, bit big, really, Dave. Really, a bit big, Dave. Really? Where are your other scissors? Oh, I don't know. Why would you know where they are, Dave? Oh, there they are. 
Here's ones. So what we're going to have is, you know, I like a bit of, a bit of faux authenticity. So we're going to have this stuck to here. Both sides. I'm going to stick that on the flap bit. Spread that out a bit with my finger. In fact, actually, that's a bit bright. So let's just go over it. That's going to get stuck to there now, isn't it, Dave? Mind, I've done it now. Oh, I need to give it a bit more glue now. You've spent so much time messing around. Just realised my mic wasn't on, so hopefully you could hear me. I'm going to put this on. Right, there is a perforation in it, and I just need to know where the perforation is. So I'm going to put that like that I think stick it down and then we're going to oh no we're going to wait until it's stuck before we try and do anything else Dave and have that maybe on the top edge like that Just ink that make it look a little less bright um, I don't have real genuine Denison labels because they are very very expensive very expensive and if I just do that it's got that bit of authenticity to it now so there we go yeah there we go so that's that and so I'll just do very something very similar on there yeah, but you just don't get as many in this one I don't think so we'll go with 40 on this one. Oh, that didn't come out very well did it oh no it didn't come out at all so Ow, they're very, very strong staples. Well, I guess they have to be. Cause ow, ow. Right, be careful if you're bending staples with a blade, because like they're not meant for bending staples with, and the blade can chatter. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to stamp it with a different colour this time. So. This needs to be cleaned. It's all right. I'm not rubbing it on my trousers. I'm just going to put it. On. <laughs> I might have done if you weren't around, but hey. Um, and we're going to use a red one this time. Not red. I want blue. I get the blue because the the number's red. So I'm going to go like that, and then. Uh, I'm just going to cut those out and then by the magic of television it'll all be cut together and you'll see the finished article
so there you go that's it so i've done those that's that's the two now one's got 40 in, one's got 50 in you know that's what you get for having different types of different styles and so i've just inked this one down as well made this look a bit more grungy looking um and there we go that's our two little file index things so hope you like those so don't forget my name is dasher dave and i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and i'll see you all in the next video thanks very much for watching lots of love lots of hugs and kisses from margo too and i'll see you all in the next video take care folks see you soon bye bye